Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we are going to learn about the shortest distance between two skew lines. But before we start, we are going to learn what do you mean by skew lines. I will try to explain with this uh, two sticks. Okay, so look at this. In 3D geometry, we can have two parallel lines and intersecting lines can you see the lines are intersecting and there's a third possibility the lines are one above the other but can you see they are not parallel they are not parallel and they will never ever intersect and don't forget lines are infinite in length so when the lines are one above the other in such a way that they are not parallel they are called skew lines and whenever we have skew lines, there is something called the shortest distance. Can you see? The two lines come very, 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 very near at a particular point. And at that particular point, the shortest distance or that line segment, it will be perpendicular to both. Can you see? These two are perpendicular. These two are perpendicular. Okay. Now, I will show you with a 3D calculator. So I kept two equations here. You might feel that they are intersecting. No, I'll show you another perspective. Can you see the lines are not at all intersecting? They are not intersecting. Now I'll show you the line of shortest distance. Can you see? This is the line of shortest distance. So we have two lines, the blue one and the red one. They will never ever intersect because they exist in two parallel planes. You can imagine drawing one line on the roof and one on the floor in such a way that they are not parallel. And this is called the line of shortest distance. And the only thing you have to know for the time being is the line of shortest distance will be perpendicular to both the lines. Are you able to see that? The gray color line is perpendicular to red. And what is the condition for perpendicularity? A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2 equal to 0 where A1, B1, C1 and A2, B2, C2 are the directions. Okay, now let's go for the method. Uh, so if you want, you can take a print screen. By the way, this is case 1. In coplanar also, we learned like this. Case 1, both the lines are given in symmetric form. And case 2, 1 will be in symmetric form and the other one will be as the intersection of two planes. Okay, now look at this, the method goes like this. So we have line one, convert it into parametric form and use the parameter T. You can use any letter, I'm going to use T. Convert the second line into parametric form, use another parameter, I'm using S. You can use lambda, mu, anything that you like. Now. What we do is we find the direction of this AB which is supposed to be the shortest distance. And then what you do is you use condition of perpendicularity and you'll create two equations and solve for A and B. Anyway, take a screenshot. When we work out problems, you'll understand more. Now I'll show you where uh, a small application. So can you see two drones, uh, alpha and beta, the red one and the blue one, and they are flying in the sky and one is above the other. So suppose I want to know how close the drones will go. All I need is the path of two drones. That will be two lines and calculate the shortest distance. Now let's go for mark point of view. And by the way, in TU, they asked this question in 2073. Okay, so let's start with one question. So are you ready with your pen, paper, calculator, everything? Okay. So just like I told you, case 1 and in case 1, what's the speciality? Both the equations are given in symmetric form. So I'm going to call the first one equal to T and the second one is equal to S, the parameters. And I can easily convert this into parametric form. Okay. Now look at this. I want all of you to draw figure 1 because the figure method is the best method. It might be a little bit lengthy. By the way, there are other methods also. Some people will love this method because this is a logical method. Some people think this is very lengthy. 
and you can use any method that you like in your examination anyway let's go for the logical method so what i do is i will convert the first line into parametric form so tell me what's the parametric form yeah t plus 3 so i'm going to write it here t plus 3 do you know what's the parametric form parametric form represents every point on the line and when you give different different values for t it will generate different different points on that line and then 2t plus 5 okay so 2t plus 5 and then minus 3t plus 7 so we get minus 3t plus 7 and the direction ratios are the denominator 1 2 minus 3 and now you can write the second one so that will be 3s minus 1 in examination also draw the picture minus 4s minus 2 and s minus 3 and what are the direction ratios 3 minus 4 1 now I am going to assume AB to the to be the shortest distance can you see AB this is the shortest distance so like I told you these two are perpendicular these two are perpendicular um, and I'm going to calculate the direction ratio of AB how do you calculate the direction ratio x2 minus x1 so the direction ratio will be 3s minus 1 minus of t plus 3 minus 4s minus 2 minus of 2t plus 5 and s minus 3 minus of minus 3t plus 7 and simplify this simplifies to 3s minus t minus 4 minus 4s minus 2t minus 7 and s plus 3t minus 10 okay now what you do is you write this stuff very neatly can you see the direction ratio and the direction ratio okay now it's very simple but listen very carefully you have to be very 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 careful with the simplification part so like I told you line 1 and the shortest distance are perpendicular so can you see I'm going to apply the condition a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 equal to 0 that is how I got this equation similarly line 2 and the direction of the shortest distance are perpendicular so I'm getting two equation now this is a challenge look at this I have seen many 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 students who are in bachelor's level making mistake with the simple algebra so try it yourself you're going to write the exam by yourself so try it yourself don't cheat check whether you're getting the equation so pause the video okay now check it anyway I used a calculator and I got the value of s and t that's it now I want you to draw the same picture once more can you see I'm going to draw the same picture once more but I'm going to plug in the value of t what is the value of t over here 6 by 5 so what I did is 6 by 5 plus 3 2 into 6 by 5 plus 5 minus 3 into 6 by 5 plus 7 use calculator and I got the second picture I hope you can see the second picture so look at this we know the coordinate of this point and we know the coordinate of this a and b the shortest distance now apply distance formula and we get 7 root 3 do you remember distance formula x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square plus z2 minus z1 the whole square anyway I got the answer 7 root 3 comment below whether you got the same answer or not now the second thing the equation by the way we are using this long method so that we can find the equation of the shortest distance can you see this line the shortest distance itself is a line and to write the equation of a line you need two things what are the two things that you need one is the point on the line come on now we know two points on the line can you see we know two points on the line so you can use any point that you like 
also we know the direction look we already calculated the direction we know s and t and i simplified and it became 1 1 1 so here we go this is the equation now work out a lot of questions of this type so that you will be like very fast in working out these problems okay now look at this okay. now something very 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 important when you read the question paper make sure whether they are asking equation of the shortest distance or only the distance if they ask only the distance don't do this long process there is a shortcut once more when you read the question paper be aware if they ask only the shortest distance then copy this method so there is a procedure step one step two and that's it we have the answer okay so be ready with your pen and paper let's work out the same question and i can see find the shortest distance i'll show you the other question see find the shortest distance and its equation so can you see the difference between two questions in the second question they are asking only the distance and the method is super easy okay i think you already copied step one so in step one what we do is we will create a plane and i'll go only through the method i'm not going to explain the logic because i told you the logical method already so the method is we take the numerator denominator and denominator so numerator of line one denominator of line one denominator of line two and you expand the determinant i'm sure you know how to expand the determinant x minus three and this one two minus twelve minus y minus five and the determinant so you know the method and i got the plane so once more what is step number one you create the equation of a plane now the next thing to do is you have to extract a point from the second equation and that is very simple read the numerator read the numerator and you will see the point minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so can you see I got x2 y2 z2 it's from method can you see the method yeah now just calculate the perpendicular distance it's very very simple modulus of you plug in this quantity in the plane minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 15 the whole divided by root under now read from the plane 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square see I got the same answer but not the equation of the line okay now I'll show you one question which they had asked in many 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 universities many times okay so please copy the question show that the shortest distance I'm a little bit lazy so I put the abbreviation SD so find the shortest distance so they are not asking equation I told you read the question paper properly they are asking only the shortest distance anyway I'm not happy with this equation but because it doesn't look like the standard equation you remember the standard equation x minus x1 by a equal to y minus y1 by b equal to z minus z1 by c this is the standard equation so what I do is I'm going to manipulate it can you see I'm going to write x plus a divided by 1 is equal to y divided by 1 by 2 I took this 2 and wrote it as 1 by 1 by 2 z divided by minus 1 by 12 oh no this looks even worse so what I do is I'm going to take the direction ratio the direction ratios are 1 1 by 2 minus 1 by 12 I told in previous videos also direction ratios are proportional quantities for example if I get 6 2 2 I will multiply throughout by or divide throughout by any number that I like and usually I will put it in the simplest form 
here i can divide this two throughout by 2 or multiply by 1 by 2 so it becomes 3 1 1 similarly similarly look what i'm going to do is i'm multiplying throughout by the lcm 12 so i get 12 1 minus 1 so can you see now i'm going to fix the direction ratio and here we have a beautiful equation and if you don't do this step it's going to give you headache so what did i do first the equations are not in the standard form so i slowly converted it into the standard form and after that it's so easy by the way did you read the question they asked only the distance not the equation so what is step number one ah the plane numerator denominator denominator expand i got this please comment below whether you're getting the same answers or if there are some change in that answer now what to do i have to look at the second equation the numerator 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 and i can see the point x2 y2 z2 0 minus 2a a and the last thing to do you have to plug this into this equation so 2 multiplied by 0 minus 3 multiplied by minus 2a 6 multiplied by a plus 2a divided by root under 2 square plus minus 3 the whole square plus 6 square and it's 2a it's a prove that question okay once more i'll repeat practice a lot of questions i found this in many many past papers so try this question can you see magnitude and equation so i kept the answer for this okay so you can find the magnitude and equation i found only the magnitude so you can use the first method and here i have written ah this is our next video sometimes they might put you in trouble they will ask you find the shortest distance between a line and another line can you see this line it's the intersection this is case 2 so if you want another method watch the next video if you don't want to learn another method that's perfectly okay you can convert this into symmetric form anyway i'll be back with the next video and in that video we will learn case 2 where one line is in symmetric form and the second line is written as the intersection of two planes so till then my friends 